Hey everyone, Hello in Box here again uh, with more with another update on our AI enhancing events and scripting. Uh, we feel that we're at at a point where we can release this to everybody, so we're going to do another update. Um, it's going to have all the AI enhancing stuff so that you all can try it out, give it a test, you know, see how it works, what works, what doesn't work. Uh, good, bad, let us know. Give us your thoughts, feedback, all that good stuff. Uh, so what's actually new here? Uh, well, we have now showing the entire map to the AI. It just throws a bunch of heroes out there and gives the AI vision, and then it and they remove themselves. All right, we have setting all players to vital. That's just so that the AI will be it will want to go ahead and just conquer everyone. All right, we can set the starting level of heroes, increase experience for heroes and movement bonus for them as well. Um, so this works really well for, or it wor works easily for AI heroes that are already placed onto the map, uh, but what about hired heroes? Well, uh, we went ahead and put placed events around the around every town that contain these scripts as well. All right, and so they're applied to heroes. Um, so the, the starting level, that one's easy to only do hired heroes, you just check the level. Um, but the experience and the movement, those ones we can't really um, have it so that it doesn't hit the heroes that already have the scripting on them. Um, so we've limited it to being able to run twice per turn. Okay, we already have the, we've shown the resources in gold, and we gave you, uh, you guys an update for the reducing neutrals for the AI. So we just go ahead and hit apply here. And as you can see, I need to add a progress bar. Um, just to show that something's going on. All right, the, the time hog here is reducing neutral scripts. It's got to go through all of them, all the objects, all the army guys, and put put the scripting on them. That takes a little while. All right, so we head over to the event tab, and all the events have been added. We can we could look at the objects. I'm not going to, um, but they're all there. Okay, back to AI panel. Um, so if you wanted to just scrub the map of all of the events that are placed on it, simply just hit remove all and they're all gone. All right, I'm just going to show you the events right there. They've been removed. Okay. Um, so something else that is new is you now have the ability to edit these scripts. Um, it was working before, but I broke it and so I had to fix it again. And so you just basically click on the cog wheel. All right, it brings up an event group editing panel. All right, so you've got all the different types of them in here. All right, you can scroll through and see what all is there. We've got placed events, we've got triggerable events for objects. I'm just going to go with the, the base time timed event. I right, can open them up. All right, and I'm just going to add a no op just for this demonstration. All right, there he is. All right, go ahead and hit OK. And if we go back in and just take a look. All right, he's still there. Okay, now just to show that this persists, we'll close out the program and restart it. And we'll open our map back up and just go verify that yeah, the changes are indeed still there. Okay, here we go. Bring him up. All right, there he is. So we're still good. Okay, now, you know, this is just to kind of help help give you guys the option to you know help us make better scripts right if you see something you know you can try something that you know may you think may work better and if it does you know let us know you know we can make that the default um, so speaking of defaults all right let's say you've done something to these scripts and you've really messed things up nothing's not working anymore you know something's broken whatever well you can just restore the defaults all right now it will erase any changes that you have made and it will you replace those with the default scripts. Alright, so you can go back and have a look. And sure enough, they're gone. Okay. Oh and I just also want to mention the scripts and events that are not quite working yet. I haven't gotten to you know controlling your opponent's neutrals whenever they fight. Uh, we're still working on you know increasing dwelling populations for the AI. Um, PadFX was working on the artifact script, so we still have some stuff that's not quite ready yet, but we feel we have enough for you guys to test and let us know. 
Um, something else that we're planning on doing, but I haven't gotten to yet as well, uh, is in a sort of AI profile. So it just it could just remember, you know, the settings that you like, so that you can just save and load it. Now we don't have to, you know, redo them every single time, or you know, load up a map that has the settings that you want. You know, just trying to find a way around. So it's just something to save you time. Um, and I also just like to point out that in this particular release, we have the you know, copying and pasting an area of the map will also be in it. All right, so you can do this right here. All right, I also have a video that shows that as well. It gives you a little demonstration explanation, so you can t check that out if you want. Um, but anyway, so thank you for watching. You know, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, thoughts, feedback, all that, just head over to the Celestial Heavens forum. Um, there's an AI thread there. There's an H4MG thread there. You know, just let us know. Thanks.